Hey guys, Brian here with Renman for Blender. Um, we're showing off a quick preview of some new features coming in Renman for Blender um, version 21. Um, basically what we're doing is we're translating Cycle's node trees. Um, so you may have a shader node tree or one for a light. We're translating those to um, node trees that use Renderman nodes. Um, so in version 21, all I have to do is uh, take your scene. Here we're using the uh, classic BMW benchmark scene, which most of you have already seen. Um, and then all I have to do is hit the Convert Node Trees uh, um, button here in Blender. And then you can see we get, uh, so we uh, picks our mesh light node that corresponds to the emission node here. The cycle nodes are, are in the same node tree as the uh, RenderMan nodes. Um, and all of the all the shaders, the car paint, the window, and everything will be translated automatically for us. So all we have to do is go hit render here, and we should get a image that looks fairly similar to the cycles render. Um, now it's not going to be an exact comparison, you know, one to one. Every pixel is going to be the same, but it's going to be pretty close and let you take your existing scenes and very quickly get them running um, in uh, RenderMan and let you tweak them. Um, from there, so here we we've started rendering. This is uh this is RenderMan's um, image tool, uh, our little frame buffer. So we can see that the car paint looks pretty good. We got the windows, got um, all the lights and everything. So looking pretty good. And I'm just going to skip ahead and show you what the finished product looked like. Uh, here we have the cycles uh, render. It should look pretty similar to what you guys have seen before. Um, this took 348 on my 24 core Mac Tower to render. Um, and similarly, here is the RenderMan render. So, uh, you know, the depth of field setting is a little different here, but fairly similar um, in the RenderMan render. We can see, um, you know, the car paint looks pretty good. It's pretty close. Um, not perfect, but, you know, we're looking pretty good. Got a little noise here on the window, though. Um, and you can see the render time here is 3.30 versus 3.48 in cycles. Luckily, we have our denoiser tool, which will take care of the noise here in the window. And if we go and run that through the denoiser, um, the total time is 4 minutes versus 3.48, so pretty similar. Um, but if we take a closer look here, there's virtually no noise at all um, in the RenderMan render uh, after running through denoise. So we could actually lower the sample counts um, if we wanted to and get a quicker render. But I was just doing a quick example here to show you uh, what it would look like. So yeah, this is exactly, this is just hitting the um, shader conversion um, and exactly what you cut, you get out of there. Um, no real tweaking, so it should really help people get going um, with their existing scenes in RenderMan for Blender. We'll be releasing a uh, non-commercial version of RenderMan coming in November-ish, and there will be a corresponding um, 21 version of RenderMan for Blender coming out at the same time. So hope you guys like it, and stay tuned for more previews of tools coming with that.